The importance of education is clearly defined by the United Nations community, who have identified quality education as one of the 17 sustainable development goals recognized as a cornerstone for future prosperity. Globally, we have achieved tremendous progress as global illiteracy rates have more than halved between 1980s at 30% to less than 14% in 2016. In Indonesia, there has been exceptional progress with illiteracy rates dropping to 5% in 2016. Despite this extremely hopeful picture for millennials, we should not forget the older generation. 55% of Indonesians are still functionally illiterate, defined as equipped with skills necessary to enter successfully into the labour market. In rural areas where one in five teachers are absent from school, a joint effort by the Social Trust Fund of UIN and UNSW has put together a project that re-educate women in these rural areas. Social Trust Fund has started a pilot program that will provide an opportunity to leverage e-commerce skill sets to connect women in rural provinces of South Sulawesi, West Nusa Tenggara and West Java with the growing digital economy. During this trip, the focus of our data collection will be in Bantaeng and Enrekang districts where it is highlighted that 80% of small businesses entrepreneurs are women. Through this action research program that connects our students' learning experience directly with rural communities, the philanthropy-based outreach initiative will ensure these women upskill themselves with digital literacy to address Indonesia's functional illiteracy gap. During the interviews, we asked women their level of schooling, and this was their response. Okay, nama saya Rusdiana, uh, pendidikan terakhir SMA. Nama saya Jumliati, bisa dipanggil Wati, pendidikan saya SMP. Nama saya Ibu Suhaiba, pendidikan saya yang terakhir SMP. Nama saya Sudianti, pendidikan SMP. The program is underpinned by three core pillars, knowledge, availability, and support network. Firstly, the program provides knowledge and a second chance in education. However, the knowledge is not about conventional education. The program intends on promoting educational material that leverages the tools of e-commerce and social media to connect the women's products to metropolitan marketplaces. Tidak bisa kita hindari itu, walaupun ibu-ibu itu tinggalnya di desa, tapi suka tidak suka, mau tidak mau dia harus paham kan tentang teknologi. Jelasnya dengan lewat pelatihan-pelatihan ini adalah kami anggap adalah suatu pendidikan luar sekolah yang sangat menunjang buat mereka, karena mereka mau belajar tapi tidak tidak perlu seperti anak sekolah uh, mereka suka belajar di alam sambil jalan belajar di kegiatan uh, menambah ilmu dan tidak perlu formal Sekarang itu kami uh, khusus dibina oleh KKN Alaudin Makassar uh, masuk di uh, digital marketing uh, buka lapak ya yeah, online kemudian uh, masuk di Instagram Facebook than WhatsApp. Secondly, the program is tailored towards the availabilities and the inherent needs of these women who are wives, mothers and grandmothers. In the past, most programs have been one or two hour long seminars. However, it is difficult for these women to retain any of the knowledge. The piloting program brings students from universities to coach these women over a period of one month and allowing the women to build a sustained relationship with the students and troubleshoot even the smallest of problems. Kalau dari segi pendampingannya anak mahasiswa kemarin bu uh, luar biasa, kami uh, sangat bersyukur karena di mana mereka betul-betul mendampingi kami itu uh, tidak melihat kapan waktu dan tempatnya. Karena di mana uh, jujur uh, sebagian dari UKM yang ada di desa Tombolo ini memiliki kesibukan masing-masing uh, selain Produksi juga mereka mengajar. Jadi anak kakain itu uh, memang luar biasa selalu standby. Finally, the program aims to provide an extensive support network of stakeholders, underpinning the continuous synergy for collaboration. Universities can play a pivotal role in providing essential capital and resources in establishing synergies across community projects. For example, in our project to reduce literacy gaps, in rural Indonesia brings together knowledge, expertise and guidance from local governments, universities and students, rural entrepreneurs, non-for-profit organizations and private sector firms. 
Despite not having an opportunity to complete formal education, some of these women are now successful entrepreneurs. Through the program, they are not only gaining financial freedom, but they are also becoming empowered to play a bigger role in their families as well as communities. Saya berawal dari penghasilan saya dari uh, produk saya, jadi uh, dalam satu bulan itu keuntungan bersih yang kami dapatkan senilai 10 juta. 360.000. Keuntungan itu uh, jujur kebanyakan kami uh, kasih masuk di sekolah. Even though this program is a fundamental factor of success to re-educate, digitize and provide tools for the women to embrace a startup mindset, there are still some pain points that needs to be addressed. Logistics has been identified as one of the biggest difficulties. Despite being able to produce products at a competitively low price, the women have yet to achieve economies of scale. In light of the problem, the Bantayang government is becoming one of the first districts to truly link the online market with offline logistics. Kalau wifi, wifi itu biasanya kita mau ingin berharap dengan Telkomsel, Telkomsel BNI untuk menyiapkan fasilitas itu. Kalau kita misalnya mau tingkatkan, itu kan kalau kita penjualan online itu kan tampilan itu nomor satu. Sebenarnya keberadaan rumah kemasan di Bantayang bukan cuma bukan bukan cuma sekedar istilah mau bantu kami packaging apa segala macam tapi dengan meningkatkan kualitas packaging UMKM di Kabupaten Bantayang. The packaging initiatives by Bantayang government combined with greater support from the private sector and the public sector in forms of greater infrastructure investment and subsidy policies particularly in transportation of goods which has been identified as one of the highest cost factors of production can truly make these small enterprises more competitive in the global market. Secondly, as this program completes its piloting phase, we asked the Chancellor of Universitas Islam Negeri Aluddin Makassa his opinion of the program. It is our obligation to continue yeah. the collaboration. We just need to know how uh, the progress in order we can respond and give more support in order to be sustainable. In light of the recognition that this program is important, we need to address the question of how to make the program sustainable. Dengan staff yang kami miliki itu kami kewalahan. Tidak cukup untuk memberikan fasilitas atau pendampingan terhadap semua pelaku UKM yang ada di Bantaeng. Nah, memang kami berharap uh, ada uluran tangan dari berbagai stakeholder, hmm. tapi terkhusus untuk capacity building kita berharap dari perguruan tinggi. There is a potential to co-develop a program with the government that provides consultancy experience for the students, elevating staff shortages in the government as well as continuing to upskill women in rural areas. We believe this falls in line with the Indonesian government's education agenda as the founder of the unicorn startup Gojek, Nadim Makarim, joins the cabinet as the Minister of Education and Culture. Digital literacy is a fundamental driver of our modern society and it is important we can provide these women a second chance in quality and inclusive education. As a piloting program draws to close, it is important to consider how the multitude of stakeholders involved can continue the success already achieved.